A big problem we've got is that our recycling bins most of the time end up in the ditch down here before they come and pick it up. If I put it any closer to the road, it's more likely to get hit or just a wind from a big truck and the closer I put it to the shoulder, the more it is on the slope and the more likely it is to fall in. And of course if it's windy, they're guaranteed to be in there. So I'm gonna make a solution. I had a very limited amount of time to actually make this thing, so I only recorded it with my time-lapse camera that I always have running. I measured how big the bins are, and then I got some pressure-treated 2x4 scraps, and then I put a cheap circular saw blade in the table saw because those 2x4s are kind of dirty. I needed three pieces of about the same length, but those pieces actually ended up being a little bit twisted, and I wasn't about to put them on the jointer, so I used the table saw fence to kind of square them up a little bit. And then jigging up for where the frame is going to go, it's going to go about three and a half inches off the bottom. So I had to put that on supports and then working out how long the uh, longer pieces need to be and cutting those to length. And then I clamped together one end of my frame so I could screw it without having to worry about the pieces shifting on me. And I'm just screwing those with a drill. I don't like using impact drivers. They're too noisy. And now with the frame screwed together, I take the bins out and I need to add some supports on the bottom. And I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going to do this. Figure out which piece of 2x4 is about the right length to cut two pieces out of that. I decided on that one there and cutting those two pieces. And then I need to put a bit of a bevel on the bottom of it because the uh, shoulder of the road is at an angle. And I cut that on the bandsaw. And then I set up the drill to drill some holes in there so I could drill those from the bottom basically making a really deep countersink for the holes, and now I'm just screwing those on. And now giving it a test on the floor, seems to fit, and ready to take it out. And hopefully that frame stabilizes it enough so that the uh, whoosh of wind from a big truck isn't going to send them into the ditch.